you, Jesus. Come on, let's give him some praises this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. For truly he is so worthy. Hallelujah, all praises this morning. Hallelujah, thank God for this day he allowed us to see. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on and put your hands together. And give the Lord a good and clap of praise this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just reach out and touch the Lord as he goes by. You will find he's not. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on and bless that wonderful name of Jesus.
days. And the Lord have given us, amen, a brand new mercy. Yeah. Enough yeah. opportunity to enter his house, amen, on the day. God is good, ain't he? Yeah. And he's worthy to be praised. Just thank God for all his many blessings that he given us. Come on, lift them hands. Glory Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Hallelujah. Praise God for the Holy Ghost this morning, amen. We just thank God for everything as he's doing, amen, in our life in this hour. Amen. And everybody that pressed press their way to the house of God this morning. Yeah. Amen. We like to stop your mouth to our pastor. Amen. Once again, Pastor Anderson. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah. Oh, just a few of us here behind us. Just a few of us. Amen, musician. Thank God for Brother Davis. Amen. Thank God for our Bible study teacher, Sister Nana. All the questions. Just pray for me in the house. And video recorders. Sister Deborah Sam. Today, thank God for our mother's prison. Amen. Give honor to the Lord. Thank God for my wife. Amen. Today, everybody, all my sisters and brothers in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, amen, and we just thank God, amen, for his grace this morning, amen. We just going to, amen, amen, give space, amen, anybody got a testimony, amen, amen, to give to this morning, amen, to the glory of the Lord, amen, just come on, feel free to do so at this time, amen, God is good, and just keep on making a way out of nowhere, I mean, no, amen, we don't keep ourselves, but it's the Lord that keep us, Day by day. Come on, clap your hands from the bed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I thank God today. I thank him. Hallelujah. Because he didn't have to wake me up. I'm so glad that he did. Amen. To see another day. To lift his hand name. To give him praise on today. Hallelujah. I just love him. I thank him for choosing me. Glory to God. Oh, old sinner, right sinner. On my way to a burning hell. Hallelujah. Thank God. Almighty oh, God. I thank God for my pastor, Pastor Anderson, co pastor Dora, his companion, the musicians, ushers, everybody, my sisters and brothers, Sister Faith, everybody, everybody that's here today to make up this body because we have many members but one body. Glory to God. And I just thank him. Hallelujah. I thank him today. Oh, all we got to do is believe what Jesus said. Amen. Believe his word. I was telling somebody not too long ago. I said, I thank God for what he done for the lady with the issue of blood. Glory God for opening blinded eyes. Amen. Hallelujah for yes. telling the man. Hallelujah to take up his bed and walk. Right. Glory to right. God. But I right. thank God today. Yes. Hallelujah. When they said I'd always be in the nursing home. Hallelujah. Said I would never walk. I know I'm a way. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God that I never live in that house no more. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the Jesus, the Jesus that I seek, he suddenly, he ain't no man, he a lie. Believe his word. Stand on his word. Amen. If it don't come today, hallelujah, stand on it. Hallelujah, he coming. Amen. Hallelujah. He ain't like man, but you trust in him. Yeah. I'm a living with it. Hallelujah, he drove me here today. Oh, I know the boy. Hallelujah, I had a blood clot in the back of his knee a few years ago. Hallelujah, few of you may know. Hallelujah. Oh, God, they put me on complete bed rest. Hallelujah. They thought it was going to go to the grave. Glory to God. My heart, Lord, I'm going to say, ah, woo -hoo! Hallelujah. He healed that too. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. When I praise the church, Amen. 
no secret what the Lord is doing. Amen. What he's done for others, he'll do for me and you. Amen. He's that kind of God. Anybody else got a testimony this morning? Come on, give Mother Nass a hand. Clap. She come. Yeah. I'm glad to be in the house of God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Thank Master. You, Jesus. The Lord is so good. Yeah, yo. You know, I've been to church here this morning one time. I had to go back to the house. Praise the Lord because a son trying to get my car fixed, and I didn't know he was coming to the house, so Jesus. he came to the house without calling me, and I was already at the church. Jesus. Then I got to go back home, Hallelujah. praise God, and break up some money. Yeah. You know, you can't get nothing fixed without money. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. And they not charge you triple, double, triple, yeah. whatever. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But I'm just so glad to be in the house yeah. of God one more time. Amen. I'm so glad to be able just to open my mouth and talk. Yeah. I'm so glad that I can walk. Yeah. I'm so glad the Lord saved my soul. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He brought me out of darkness yes. into this marvelous light. I thank God for giving Pastor Anderson a mind to, you know, want to try having this service on a Saturday. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm glad to be in the house of God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. My son said, I wonder where you was. I said, well, you know, I don't lay around and just fool around. Hallelujah. Praise God. I get up and go. If anywhere to go, I go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As long as God give me the strength, as long as he give me, praise God, being in my right mind. Yeah. Praise God. I pray about that I'm most a lot, about my right mind. Yes, Hallelujah. Because you lose your mind. Yeah. You just about lost everything. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yes. I just thank him yes. for my life. I thank him for my strength. Yes. I praise God for Sister Anderson and Brother Don and it's everybody. Yes. I can, you know, I'm terrible with names, so y'all have to forgive me if I don't remember your name. Praise God, but I love every one of you. Amen. Because if I don't, then I don't have the love of God in me. Amen. Praise God. The Lord said for us to love ye one another. Yes. Praise God. And I just thank him this morning. It's just so much I could say, but I just cut it off right here. And let's give thanks to the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank God for that. Amen. Thank God for mother this morning. Amen. We just appreciate the Lord. Amen. For all his goodness that he brought in our life. Amen. Anybody that just got testimony, if not, we're going to, amen, move forward. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Get ready to receive the one of God. But we're going to turn it over to Brother. We're going to turn it over to Brother Barbara. Amen. Come on. Receive him right now. He can bring this. Amen. Life on. Praise the Lord, Saint. Praise the Lord. Good to be here. Amen. I thank God for Jesus. You know this um finest thing floating out. But God's still a good God. Amen. Amen. You know, I was um it probably been about a couple of right at a month ago. I was um working and I came home and my head was hurt real bad and my eyes were bloodshot red and, and I was dizzy, couldn't hardly walk. And, and I told, I went in there, I didn't want to tell my wife, you know, us men, yeah. we don't want to tell our wives, you know, you try to be strong. Well, I know that's how I am, but I would have to do it with my wife. <laughs> and I said, baby, I said, I think something wrong with me. I said, my blood pressure something up real high. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling bad. Good that I know I was going to have a stroke. Jesus. But God. Thank God. God. Hey. Sister Barbara, she, she told me, she said, baby. You don't want to go to the doctor, do you? I said, no, I don't want to go to no doctor. Because I know if you go to the doctor and you get on the blood pressure pills, you'll never get off. Mm -hmm. Except God help you. I said, I ain't going to no doctor. She said, well, let's go on a fast. <laughs> let's go on a fast. <laughs> cut everything off. That's it. Well, when you go to the doctor, Pastor, they cut everything off. Yeah. They don't give you number fluid. That's right. 
That's it. You don't get no food. <laughs> they hook that IV up to you. That's right. And cut everything off. Because the food they got, you ain't gonna want to eat it anyway. So, mm. so I went on a fast, man, my wife, we went on a fast. And let me tell you something, God broke that thing. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus broke it. He broke it. Yes. He broke it. Yes. He broke it. yes. And I stopped drinking the manager drinks. I stopped eating all that bread. I stopped drinking all them sodas. Anything that'll bring that blood pressure up, I stopped doing it. Because if you do it, you know what's going to happen. Yeah, you got to tell this old flesh no. Amen. I want to live. Amen. I don't want to die. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. God good. Yeah. He's a good God. I appreciate the Lord saying. Amen. That's my testimony. I Amen. thank God for Jesus. Yes. I thank God for breaking that thing. Yes. Cause man, there's a lot of people on blood pressure bills, and they can't get off of them because mm -hmm. they want to eat what they want to eat. Mm -hmm. If you quit eating what you want to eat, you can get off the blood pressure pills. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Say amen. Say amen. Praise amen. the Lord, saints. <laughs> it's the truth. Amen. You want to live? Mm -hmm. God good, ain't it? Amen. Come on, All the time. Bring my wife up. All right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Man, God good. Yes, he is. I thank God for Jesus. Thank God yeah. for a good wife. Yeah. Thank God for a praying wife. Yeah. I thank God for preaching wife. Amen. You know, it's a lot of church churches that don't allow women to preach. That's right. But I thank God for Pastor Henderson. A woman, I'm talking about saints, you'll be amazed at the man of God that's in this ministry and the, the holiness. So we some holy rollers. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we is. <laughs> I know that's what I am. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. A holy roller. What the yeah. mofo used to say back in the day? A holy roller. <laughs> yes. But they don't allow women's preachers to get up and preach. But I thank God mm -hmm. for a church that you can come to women's, women's preachers. Because yeah. God said he's going to pour his spirit out on handmade servants, mm -hmm. on everybody. Mm -hmm. Don't be ashamed to preach this gospel. Don't, don't be ashamed to lift up that man named Jesus. Amen. He said, if you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Amen. But I'm going to bring this. Man, y'all don't know. This wonderful, wonderful woman of God. A woman after God's own heart. Sister Jessica Ball. Amen. I don't Jesus. Jesus, Lord, please come down. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm about to bust. 
I am. I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning. I ain't hardly slept all week. <laughs> I thank God for Jesus. Amen. I told Brother Bob last night, I was in that prayer room this morning with them scriptures. I had to just throw the Bible away and run out the room. The word, it just, you just go from chapter to chapter, scripture to scripture, and it just be firing off in your mind. And and it'd be all over you. And I said, oh, I got to get out of here, Lord. I at least want to sleep it out. But, it, you know, I just thank God for that. Because it was a moment in time. I used to wake up with the word of God in my mind. Like, when I open my eyes, I hear the scripture. I'm talking about scripture after scripture after scripture. But when you compromise, when you lose your dedication, you won't hear them scriptures. You hear all kind of other stuff that you've been beholding. That you've been feeding in your spirit with your ears. But I thank God I'm back in a place that when I open my eyes, Hallelujah. I can hear the word of God. I used to think I was crazy, but when it left, I felt lonely. Uh -huh. I felt empty. Yeah. And nobody had to tell me why I aired it. But you got to make up in your mind that you're going to take it back. You're going to make up in your mind that you're going to start from the right here and the right now. Yeah. Whatever the right now is and the right here is for you, you can take it back. Because he's standing there with his arms outstretched. Yeah. And he's waiting on us to come to him. And say, I messed up. I did thus and thus. You ain't got to tell nobody but him. Amen. That's why that veil was told out. So you didn't have to go to a man. Amen. You didn't have to go to a woman. Amen. But you can father in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. And you can tell him. And he'll throw it out there in the sea of forgiveness. He don't remember it no more. We don't want to keep remembering it because we're living to the devil. But he's a liar. Amen. He's the father of a liar. Yes. And all you got to do is ask Jesus to forgive you. Yes. And just start right now. Yes. If you can't fast all day, fast half a day. Yes. Two hours. Whatever you can do, do it in your ability. Yeah. Not nobody else to build. Because yeah. only you got to stand. You got to make your calling and election sure. Can't nobody do it for you. Amen. Your yeah. pastor, nobody. No your brother, right. your wife, your sister, your husband. Can't nobody make your calling and election sure. Amen. But you. Amen. Amen. So all you got to do is come to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. This is. Not what the scripture we're going to be coming out talking about this mm -hmm. afternoon. But I think it's befitting that we go here. Because it's the Lord's word. Mm -hmm. And I stand on this right here. It's in Isaiah 58. Chapter 13. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you so much for this place of worship. Thank you for this time, Lord, that we can fellowship and break bread, the true bread, that we can eat of your flesh and drink of your blood. Lord, we ask that it fall on good ground, mm -hmm. that it bring forth fruit in due season. But every here, in Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 58 and 13, he said, If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day. Going where you want to go. Doing what you want to do. Acting like you want to act. And call the Sabbath the delight. Delight in the day of rest that I gave. Mm -hmm. Delight in that day of worship. Call me. Love on me. The holy of the Lord. Honorable. And shall honor him. Not doing thine own ways. Nor finding thine own pleasure. Not down there at the flea market shopping. Not all, you know, this is my day. I got to clean my house, get grocery shop. I got to do this. I got to go get my grandchildren. I got to take them over here. No, 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 no. That ain't what he told the holy folks to do. Amen. That's what the world does. Right. But holy folks ain't supposed to be at the flea market on the Sabbath day. If it's not a need, if your ox ain't in the ditch, you know what I'm saying, you ain't supposed to be doing it. That ain't that what we were talking Come on now. They would duck now. The women are old and the men are old. They used to cook their meal Friday before the sun went down. Oh, no. And that stove yes, that come on no more till Saturday when the stove yes. when the sun went down. Come on now. Come on now. We're gonna return back to the old path. Oh, We're gonna have to return back to the old path, but you ain't gonna get in the gate. Oh, I'm just telling you. 
But the Lord told me, you won't have to do it line upon line, precept upon precept. When much is known, much is required. He requires something of us. If you want to be blessed, you're going to do what his words say. If you want to walk in the blessings of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you're going to do what the Lord say. Because he ain't going to bless no mess. I don't care who you is. Now, that other fellow, he might bless you. He's he the God of this world, so he got the ability to give you things. He got the ability to hoodwink you. And he just might do that. And you still going to be in the way of error. But when you have to stand before that great white throne, I, me, of judgment, I'm going to have to give an account for the deeds I've done in this body. I'm going to have to give an account for every scripture I read and every scripture I heard. Amen. Amen. He said, nor speak in thine own words. We ain't supposed to be shucking and jiving. He can and lying. So when you're joking, you're lying. You know, let's tell the truth about it. He done told a lie. We ain't supposed to be speaking our own words. We ain't supposed to be coming out our own thoughts. But we're supposed to be speaking the words of God. We're supposed to be someone telling somebody about Jesus. Amen. Back in the day when they left church, they went out witnessing. They didn't go home. They didn't go to the Golden Corral, to the out and back. You know, they didn't go all up Montgomery Highway trying to get them to eat. They went door to door through this neighborhood back there. Oh, I know, Kyle, what up? Running behind my mom. <laughs> in that long dress, and we didn't complain. No, we sure we didn't complain. If your parents said do it, you know, it wasn't nothing to talk about. That's right. You just done it. We didn't have choices. <laughs> they give them choices, but you want to eat. I want a hot dog. You don't want this chicken or this beef? No, cook me a hot dog. And they be back in the kitchen cooking them a hot dog. Oh, you're going to go to bed hungry. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have choices. We didn't ask them what they want to wear, what they want to put on, what kind of shoes you want, how you want your hair done. Oh, we didn't have choice. And I thank God because it taught us obedience. Amen. It taught us to obey those that had their room over us. Thank God for growing up. Whew, right now. Thank you, Jesus. He said, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord. If you keep verse 13. He said, you will delight yourself in the Lord. You will love him. He said, I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob, thy father. Jacob was rich with him. Mm -hmm. He learned how to do things. Even when they tried to put him down, old Laban tried to kick him down, kept tricking him. But God put in his mind what to do. And his increase was greater than Laban. But if you keep the Sabbath like Jesus told you, you'll ride on the high places of the earth. He'll give you these things. You won't have to seek after them. Glory to God. Glory to God for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. All you got to do is obey the scripture. You ain't got to be running around doing this and doing that. Go me to the book of Matthew. This, I didn't know that was going to take me here, but it took me right where we need to be. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and give him a hand clap of praise. I love it because he do the most wonderful thing. He know how to write and divide his word. He know how to set it up. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's a good God. Glory to God. Matthew chapter 6. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we love you. I know I do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's just praise him for him. Thank you. Because he's worthy. He said we got to delight in him. We ain't come here to just listen to me. We come here to get something for the Lord. When you worship, worship is to adore him. Worship is to love him. If you worship him, he'll come down. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, if we learn to let him take over, if we learn to let him do it, oh, and get out of his way. I know we have an order service, but he is the order. He orders us out of that stall of oh, yeah. Glory to God. Come on and praise him. Reach out of your heart and praise him. If you can't lift your hands, let your heart cry out. Tell him you love him. Magnify him on today. Magnify the Lord Jesus Christ. Magnify the one that brought you out of sin. Magnify the one that feeds you when you ain't got nothing. Everybody don't get moved steps. Oh, the outer side of a high The working man struggles, but God provides. It's nobody but Jesus. Magnify the one that's keeping your children while they out there slipping and sliding, keeping it high. Magnify him. Glorify him. Lift him up. He's a keeper. He's Elo, Elo, Lasta. He's a deliverer. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. God, in that form of 
fashion. Oh, why don't have a form of God and is denying the power of you are the power. Yeah. This your show. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. This your story. Yeah. God, we just characters in your book. Yeah. Holy, 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 holy. Holy love of God, we love you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory. Glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to be in Matthew chapter 6, and we're going to start at verse 33. Glory to God. And if I would title this, I would say, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Matthew 6 and 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Thank you, Lord. Romans chapter 14, 17, where we're going to go next. But if we seek God, like we was reading over there in Isaiah, if we seek him, everything you desire will be added unto you. Amen. I was riding down the street the other day and I wanted some money. Somebody cash at me the money that I wanted. Mm -hmm. I, they told me that I wasn't going to get no check at work because somebody forgot to flip my hours. Jesus. Somebody called me and told me I'm going to make you cut them. God is a good God. Amen. All you got to do is live. Want him. Yeah. Want the kingdom. Want to do right. Yeah. Strive. If you mess up, strive. Hallelujah. Just want to do right. Yeah. Want to live right. Yeah. Try. Fight. Yeah. Scrap. Whatever you crawl, bite. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do. Amen. Live right. And God will supply all your needs. Amen. And He said, if you believe and doubt not, He'll give you the desires of your heart. Come on, if you delight yourself in Him, yeah, He'll yeah. give you the desires of your heart. Yeah. He knows what you desire. Yeah. It's some things we were coming down the highway this morning. I was telling God that I desire. They were spiritual things. And I believe gonna give me every one of them because he knows my heart is towards soul. Yes. My heart want to see people saved, yes. delivered yes. but it's a lot of gaps in the bridge that got to be filled in mm -hmm. and we those people that got to fill them. Mm -hmm. but you got to want to yeah. you got to want to be more than just somebody that sit on a pew right. you got to want to be more in the kingdom, yes. in the body yes. you got to want to be more he didn't just make us. He made us to come in here and get something and take it somewhere. Mm -hmm. I was telling the Lord, I said, Lord, if you ever gave me an evangelistic team, they might get tired because we're going to be I hope they take their shoes off and put their running shoes on, and we're going to be running. Because <laughs> this time that when souls, people dying. Mm -hmm. yeah. Young folks dying. I was mm -hmm. telling my husband, I said, look, they always putting on the news about the black man that killed the white man or the white man killed the black man or the white woman killed the black girl. But you don't, that's just putting hate down. You don't talk about how these black young boys are killing each other by the hundreds. Mm -hmm. You don't put that on the news. Mm -hmm. You don't talk about how folks blowing their wives' brains out. Amen. Black, you don't put that on the news. Mm -hmm. But soon as it is a race issue, mm -hmm. you want to put that hate out there. Mm -hmm. And people feed on that. Mm -hmm. And then they begin to look at another nationality with hate and mm -hmm. anger. Right. Stop watching the news. Hallelujah. <laughs> Cause there ain't nothing on the anything good. Come on now. Do they tell you anything good? Even the weather bad. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's hot. I ain't got to watch the news. I know it's hot. This heat is unbearable. The Bible says the sun was going to be scorching me. And it is coming to pass. Near or down a heat stroke. It is scorching me. I don't watch it. My husband, he'll say, just be seen. No, nope, he my news. <laughs> God don't want to see I don't got time I already know what's happening we at the end, we in perilous times yeah, and when we live at bad things uh, he was telling me a young lady was coming down Riverside Drive and her husband killed her and they chased him to another county and he blew his brains out yesterday we in perilous times mm -hmm. we know this, the man of God the men of God that have proclaimed the word of God down since Genesis, the revelations, and even throughout our time that we have beheld, that we have heard, they told us these things were coming. Amen. We shouldn't be shocked. Ah. It shouldn't be an awe. 
Because we done heard this. And the word of the Lord, he going to perform it. That's right. Whether we want him to or not. Amen. It's going to happen because it won't return to him void. But we have to get in a place where we can be protected in this day. Where we can be shielded from all these things that are coming upon the face yeah. of the earth. He said, pray that you might be counted worthy Hallelujah. to escape. Uh -huh. If you ain't praying, how you going to get counted worthy? Mm -hmm. If you ain't making it to the hour of prayer, it's a man Hallelujah. with a right of zinc horn in his hand. Ah. He walked them out. He take a note of everything. He see you when you in here on shoe yes, he buy you a new dress. Yes, he, he see you when you are searching on social media. Hallelujah. While the preacher up preaching. Yeah. That man writing that down. Yeah. It's a record of that. You don't have to give account for that. Amen. I come to tell you the truth. Amen. That the truth made me free. Amen. It keeps me free. Yeah. I don't like friends that tell lies. Uh -huh. If you see me going down the road and the road out. And you just waving at me. Maybe she'll tell you that. You ain't my friend. That's right. That ain't no friend. That's an enemy. And you don't need him. Amen. So I come and I'm going to tell you the truth like they told me the truth. Mm -hmm. And it'll make you free. Yeah. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. Mm -hmm. Romans 14 and 17. Mm -hmm. We're going to figure out what this kingdom is. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Lord. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, glory. Romans 14 and 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, mm -hmm. but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Now, I like to do what Jesus did. When Jesus was a walk this earth, he taught in the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. This is the day that we if we be like Jesus, we're going to learn something. Yes, if the preacher like Jesus, we're going to leave him with something. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he said the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. Mm -hmm. It ain't in the things that you possess. Mm -hmm. It ain't in the things that you put on to let other people say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Because you got the nice car. Mm -hmm. You got the nice house. But you in a lot of debt. Yeah. They ain't told you that, did they? Come on. And them pretty houses in them big neighborhoods, they're not hanging themselves. Yes, they don't put that on the news. Mm -hmm. But we got a, a police officer friend that's a major, and he tells us everything. Then they're killing themselves. The stock market crash. Yeah. They're losing it. Because right. all, everything that they accounted to themselves, everything that they identified themselves with, yes. has been taken away. Yes. That's why he tells you, what profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? Amen. What will a man give in exchange for his soul? Yeah. What you gonna give up for church? What you give up on your Sunday morning? To just say I'll go next time. What you give up on Tuesday night? I ain't going to Sister Nana, she just a kid. What you give up? What, what, what you put in the place of that? What you put in place of getting on that prayer line? You ain't doing nothing. Hey, come on. Nothing work, nothing, nothing in profit, nothing. Amen in the house. Amen in the house. You know, if you got a job, I know you got your earbuds in, because I have mine on all day. <laughs> listening to the word of God, because them children will drive you crazy. Mm -hmm. But they ain't going to drive me crazy, because I'll be listening to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. <laughs> all right. Amen. Amen. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Amen. Yeah. You gotta figure out a way to fight this devil. Mm -hmm. For the kingdom of God that works for you, but lines up with the word. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Now, righteousness, I looked it up. I'm telling you, we need the Holy Ghost first of all, because He tells us what the kingdom is. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, not that. But it's righteousness, yeah. it's peace, mm -hmm. it's joy mm -hmm. in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get that. <laughs> righteousness, a way of life or feeling that involves doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. That's what the world say. But living in right relationship with God, right standing with God, mm -hmm. that can only be achieved through faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why? 
Because you got to believe that word before you do it. Mm -hmm. If I told you, come on up here, I'm going to give you $100, you'll take off track stuff. I don't lie, but I ain't got $100. So I tell you. <laughs> you know, at least I don't do it willingly. And if I do, I quickly repent. But I don't make no habit of that because I like the truth. Mm -hmm. And I like to do to others what I want them to do to me. Mm -hmm. But you got to have faith in God to believe this word. He said we clean through the word. Amen. This is the only way going to clean up your life is if you read your Bible. You can pray day and night. I pray, but praying don't make me read my Bible. Amen. Read my Bible makes me pray. Amen. Y'all agree? When you read this word and see how nasty and undone you are, and you'll start crying out to God. Amen. But you can pray. That, I'm the mind, you can bring down the house. You can feel the power in your prayer chamber. You, but it ain't going to make you pick your Bible unless he speaks to you and you obey him. Yes. But read my Bible makes me pray. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace is no worries, troubles, turmoil, unrest, stress. It is blessed assurance that goes beyond what the world can offer. Mm -hmm. And you can write a reference scripture in John 14, 27. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to go to Luke. 17, because we got to figure out what this kingdom is. We're going to figure it out through the word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I was taught to stick with the word. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Luke 17 and verse 20. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Mm -hmm. How many got the Holy Ghost in here? Mm -hmm. You don't have to raise your hand and say to yourself. You know, because all of us ain't what others are. You know what I'm saying? So if you got the Holy Ghost, just praise the Lord Jesus. But he tell us that the kingdom of God was is within man. And we just read that the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, mm -hmm. but it's righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That tells me I've got to have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. If I get the Holy Ghost on the inside, I'm going to have righteousness. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to live right. Amen. I'm going to do what's right. Amen. I'm going to do everything I can to do Amen. what's right. Amen. I'm going to have some peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ain't finna worry me. I ain't finna be stressed out always calling on somebody else. Come on now. Dropping my load on them. Yeah. Because the peace of God that passes all understanding Woo. will keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Yeah. But you gotta believe that. Amen. Amen. I ain't saying we don't need no help sometimes to, to get through the hard spots. Yeah. But you shouldn't be stressed out. Hallelujah. Not saying you got the Holy Ghost. Woo. Something wrong with that spirit in you. Yeah. Something might be unattached to it. And you need to figure that out on your knees mm -hmm. through these scriptures. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody figure it out but you. Mm -hmm. You got to want to examine yourself. Mm -hmm. I had to want to and stop playing with myself. Mm -hmm. I wasn't playing with nobody but me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't playing with nobody eternity but mine. So I had to see where am I missing it at. Yes. So when things go outside it, I don't want to hear nothing about them being tried like Job. Because we can't handle what Job handled. Okay, let's just get that straight. I don't want nothing that Job had going on. Oh, no, 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 not me. Huh? I'm scared of that. No, please, not me, Lord. That's my prayer. I don't even say I'm trying like Job. No, I'm not. <laughs> but we got to sit back and see and go down our life and our days and see. Lord, did I error and open the door for Satan to come in? Have I been disobedient? Because that's a big thing for Christians. Mm -hmm. Disobedience. Yeah. <laughs> the Holy Ghost is given to them who obey him. You can't have him in disobedience. He will. Tr and then when you want to feel the power, you'll accept that false ghost. I know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So where's the kingdom? Let's go to John 14 and 16. Glory 
I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 14, John chapter 14 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. And I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter mm -hmm. that he may abide with you forever. Mm -hmm. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot see because it seeth him not, neither know him. But ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Mm -hmm. Nobody has to tell you. I really don't want to get But nobody has to tell you when you got the Holy Ghost. Because you're going to know it. I'm talking about you're going to know it and everybody around you going to know it. Because that old man going to fall. You ain't going to have them strange desires no more. You're not going to have the desires you had when you were born into this world. All that's going to fall off. Let's go to the book of Acts. One. Yeah. The book of Acts chapter one. church. You know, we got to have some power. The book of Acts chapter 1 verse 4 reads, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days from him. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. So he said, we got to wait. You know, I, when I first got saved, I thought Jesus, 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 Jesus was tearing. That ain't tearing. Tearing is to wait. You can say Jesus, 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 Jesus to clear your mind and, and focus on Jesus. You know, to get all your distractions, but to wait. You might not get it the first time what you ask him for. But don't give up on it. Come back and wait on it. He yeah. said, wait in Jerusalem. Come to the church and wait. Yeah. Come to the altar. Come where the kingdom people are. Come where the eagles are. Yeah. Come with somebody that can give you some strength. Yeah. If you're a baby, you need some strength. The babies can't feed themselves. Amen. They can't talk themselves no Amen. well. They can't change their diapers. Mm -hmm. They can't put their clothes on. They can't get themselves no bath. Amen. So why babies want to get saved and just run away? Us parents that brought the baby to the church need to buckle down and nurture your baby. Amen. That's your soul. It ain't on everybody else. It's on you. You want that soul. Amen. Stop putting your baby on other people's lap. <laughs> <laughs> no baby symbols. I'm sorry. <laughs> Amen. Back to the book of Luke chapter 24. I'm saying God is good. He said wait. Mm -hmm. Wait. Yeah. We, we waiting on something. Yeah. When we come to prayer, we ain't coming for naught just to say, oh, was that prayer with pastor just me, her, them, and them? No. We could have been doing something else. Mm -hmm. When you're in your hour of prayer, you don't get in there just to say, this is my dedicated time to tell somebody you pray for an hour or you pray every day at this time. No, you get in there because you want something. Amen. You're waiting on something. Yes. And you ain't going to let him go till he give it. Nah. I know I ain't. He said, knock and the door should be open. Yeah. I done been to people's house knocking. They ain't want to open, but I know you're in there, so you're going to come out. <laughs> you're going to come out because I know this going to annoy you. Now I'm going to go beat on your women. That's <laughs> <laughs> how you got to be on that altar. Beat on Jesus' women. Because right. yeah. you beat on somebody, what are they coming? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Ain't nothing strange. Ain't nobody died. Ain't nothing strange happening to nobody. <laughs> I don't want no dead man money. I don't want no pain money either. Amen. I don't even keep that. I want life and that more abundant. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Acts 1 and 8. We're going to do some Bible flipping. That's for a little while to do it. Amen. And he wants us to read his word. We, he wants us to know what, what he has for us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the uttermost parts of the earth. And what I want you to focus on is that you shall receive power. Don't let Satan take your power. You got power over him. It's I giving you the keys to the kingdom. Yeah. Whatever you bound on this earth will be bound in the heaven. Yeah. Whatever you loose on this earth will be loosed in the yeah. heaven. I'll be loosing the spirit of faith. I'll be loosing all kinds of spiritual stuff on my life. Oh, Lord, I need the spirit of faith. Because I want the faith that was once delivered to the saints. Amen. Now faith is. Now. Right now faith. Yeah. You gotta lose spiritual things. Don't always think you loosen something to chase the devil. Better lose pull down spiritual things on your life. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm learning something through seeking the Lord. Amen. Going back, just uh uh. If it ain't gonna work, I'm going in the gate. I don't care who don't go. I'm sorry to say it like that, but I'm going. Mm -hmm. I, I can't be down there. That lake of fire, I can't do it. Amen. It's already hot on here on earth. I can't burn it forever. Torment it forever. Yeah. I don't even want the torment now. Amen. I don't want no pains in my body now. Mm -hmm. I can't. <laughs> Say I'm head scared, am. Yep. Ah. Am. Yeah. So I'm going to do what Jesus tell me to do. Yeah. Glory to God. He's a good God. Amen. John 1 and 12. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we got to be and do with your power. Mm -hmm. We got to believe that this power the back Satan, back to the pits of hell is in us. Yeah. Oh, we got to believe that he can't run our lives. He don't dictate who we are and what we do. Amen. Oh, we love you. And we thank you for everything that you do for us, for what you're showing us, how you bringing us out. How you restored our souls. Thank you, Jesus. John 1 and 12 said, But as many as received him, mm -hmm. to them he to them gave he power to become sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So I'm telling you today, if you then receive the Holy Ghost, you got some power. I'm talking some real power. Not no lip service power, but some power to see the result. He yeah. already told us, even sinners know that the power of life and death line, they told them. That's and they right. be cursing you out because they put, they know they cursing you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They know what they're doing. Yeah. Some of them will put a curse on you, they'll put a cussing on you, and then you just go, oh, don't say that to them. But I tell people, hey, it's the king in me. And if you keep doing that, he's going to get angry. <laughs> and everything you just said, yeah. why you talking, I'm saying back to them, Jesus. Yeah. Let it fall on them because it ain't going, you ain't D and none of my stuff, ain't none of my stuff yeah. S, ain't none of my stuff L. That's your stuff. Yeah. You can wear all them titles, but you're not going to put that on my life. My car ain't going to start breaking down. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh-uh. Now you got to learn to come back to devil. You know, people think because we Christians that they can stump on us. But you don't stump on the wrong one, stump it over here. I'm going to put that word on you. Hallelujah. Yeah, because he told me I could. Mm -hmm. Not in anger, mm -hmm. but because I'm protecting my own soul salvation. The Bible says guard your heart. Yeah. That's right. Or you're going to let anything in your heart. You're going to let anybody come in your house, sit down, open your refrigerator, kick their feet up on your kitchen table. Mm -hmm. No, no. Take their clothes off them and your flow. Come in and out your house any time of night. Then don't let the devil do it to your soul. Amen. Don't let the devil do it to your soul. Amen. Don't let him spoil your goods and you got power. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see what Romans 15. Have we went to Romans 15 and 13 yet? Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope mm -hmm. through the power of the Holy Ghost. You got this. Mm -hmm. When you got the Holy Ghost, you got filled. Your hope is in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Your hope, everything you need, all your the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, mm -hmm. but they are mighty through God mm -hmm. to the pulling down of these strongholds. Yes. You got a shield of faith mm -hmm. that when the devil tell you that you're sick, you can say you're alive. Amen. Sometimes I say your mama. <laughs> you know what I mean? Say stuff to me. I say your mama. <laughs> you know, I just, it, whatever it takes. Whatever you know, that's me. Whatever it takes to back him up, I'm saying it, and I'm doing it according to these scriptures. Because all he do is tell you lies. Anything he tell you that's outside this word, it's a lie. Amen. If you say, if he say that you're going to die, you got to tell him he alive. Because he said, I should live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. But if you don't know that, you can't tell him. Amen. And you got to believe it when you done read it. Amen. He said he'll fill you with all joy. We go through things, but I've been experiencing lately that it don't bother me. And I ask myself, I said, why ain't, you know, acting up? Oh, why well, don't I don't feel like I used to feel when you know people would say things or mistreat me? Come on now, well, he done done something for me on the inside. Come on now, when he went down, he got a root. What? Yeah, yeah you got to tell him to get the roots out of you. That's mm -hmm. right. He went down there, he got that root. So uh, listen, when a pick, somebody tell you that you ain't getting no check, and you don't work. <laughs> 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 oh, I ain't coming back to work. <laughs> It was a man and nothing. He was cutting up. He said, oh, really? Oh, I ain't coming back to y'all get my money. And he was a big old man. <laughs> okay. But all I said was okay. You know, that, that peace, that joy that everything going to be okay, he made yeah. it okay. Amen. Probably because I didn't act up. Amen. Probably because I didn't, you know, a lot of people say we can be angry at sin. I'm going to be angry at the devil. But I try, I ask the Lord not to let me get angry at people. If you get angry at flesh, you're going to get in you. Amen. Amen. But if you get angry at that spirit that's operating that flesh, you're going to go pray Come on. and tell the Lord to bind that spirit up in them to deliver them from that. Because spiritual minded going to do spiritual things. Yes. Fleshly minded going to do fleshly things. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And Thank peace you, and believing that you may abound in hope. Yes. Our hope is in who? Jesus. Jesus. Our hope is in what he left us. Yeah. What he told us. Yeah. I don't hope in nothing else. I don't hope in my husband. No. I don't hope in my children. Okay. I don't hope in pastor. Yeah. I hope in Jesus. Yeah. That's my hope. Yeah. That's where my hope lies. Hi. I told my daughter, I said, I don't really talk to nobody on the phone. But they don't be want to talk about Jesus. Amen. They be all of and see, when you've been in the prayer, mm -hmm. when you've been reading your Bible and the telephone rang, and they be talking about, you know, fleshly things. Mm -hmm. And your inner man be wiggling in there. Mm -hmm. I know mine do. He be like, hang up on him. Yeah. <laughs> Just hang up. Tell him you got to go. Because he don't want to hear that. Because he been in the presence of the oh, almighty God. Yeah. And he is basking in what he's been fed. Mm -hmm. So I don't have many people I can talk to on the phone. Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk like I want to talk. Amen. So I just lay there, read my Bible. Look at preachers that I know are baptized in the Holy Ghost Amen. and got something to give somebody. Then I look at them. Amen. I don't look at personalities. Amen. I don't look at what folks used to be. I look at who you are now. Amen. What you doing now with his son? Because yes. I live right now. Amen. I wasn't born in 73. <laughs> you know what I'm I don't know what you did in 62. <laughs> I was born right now for the right now time. Amen. So what you doing right now, my eyes can see. I ain't blind. Yeah. So I don't know, you know, when you get back right, I'll come along. But until then, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. I got to run on, see what the end on me. Yeah. I don't care who it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about that. I'm trying to get saved. And I guard my heart at all costs. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because you, you'll hook up with something and you'll find yourself drifting away. Amen. You'll find yourself backsliding. Amen. You'll find yourself saying, it's okay for me to do this. Amen. But you, the Lord delivered you from that. Amen. You know, say, oh, foolish Galatians, who done bewitched you? Amen. The preacher. Amen. The preacher Amen. bewitched you because he wanted some money. Yeah. Come on now. <coughs> he wanted some money. Yeah. Yeah. He told you them lies to make your money flat your pocket. Yeah. But when you tell me that you make so much money doing this, that, and the third, mm -hmm. then you say, give me a hundred dollars. Now you better go get that money made. Yeah. Hallelujah. You don't sit up here and brag about all your wealth. Why do you need my help? Yeah. I know the labor's worth of it's higher, but I don't play no games. You got to know a man by the spirit. Mm -hmm. I don't care how good they make your flesh jiggle. Mm -hmm. You got to know them by the spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, so what we do with the power, when we get the Holy Ghost, what we do, we're going to look over here in Luke chapter 10. Thank you, Jesus. We got to start working with the power that's on the inside of us because we let it lie dormant and nobody gets saved. Mm -hmm. Our loved ones going to hell without Jesus. Yeah. Pre-adventure, God is merciful and, and fill them with the Holy Ghost and snatch them out their body right before that moment. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to chance that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to chance my family not being saved. Because they're going to be trying to come get my food when they can't buy a sale. They're going to be telling on me when they can't buy a sale. Mm -hmm. Because they God, that better going to make them do it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of preachers, they're telling they folks they're going to be raptured out. We ain't, look, we ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. If, why we can't leave now? Why we leaving them other 40 or 50 raptures? So that should tell them that that's a lie. You know, but they tell them that to comfort their flesh and to keep them, to give them money. And that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? That ain't right to play with people's souls. Okay, we're in the book of Luke, mm -hmm. chapter 10 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, mm -hmm. and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing. Should nothing be hurting us. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Like... My husband was telling you the things he was putting in his body was causing his, causing his body about to tap out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do our, we afflict ourselves. Mm -hmm. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride mm -hmm. of life. Yes. These things are the world. Mm -hmm. They are not of God. Mm -hmm. And anything of the world is going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says if we defile this temple, mm -hmm. he will destroy it. And a lot of us that violent it with food. That macaroni and cheese be so good. Yeah. I'm telling you, that mercy. <laughs> you have to tell yourself, I ain't getting but a spoonful and I ain't going to eat no more. Yeah. Talk to yourself. Tell your flesh what to do. Don't let your flesh tell you what to do. Amen. If you overindulge in anything, it's going to hurt you. Yeah. If you exercise too much, you're going to pull muscles. You're going to tear muscles. If you work too much, you ain't your body gonna be broke down by the time you're 50. Mm -hmm. 55 at the latest. Everything on you gonna hurt. Because yeah. you done gave all your youth over to trying to gain these world goods. Mm -hmm. When all you had to do was seek the kingdom of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Mark you. 17. Thank you, Lord. What we gonna do with this power? Ask your neighbor, well, I'm going to do with all this power. Well, we'll do with all this power. I'm talking about we got a whole lot of power. Thank you, Jesus. Mark six, Mark 17 and 18. Oh, 16 and 18. I'm sorry. Get me right, Mother Betty. Thank you. <laughs> That's the only way to roll this way. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Mm -hmm. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Mm -hmm. 
How many are using their power to cast out devils? Or are you scared, saying, God said, don't lay hands on no man suddenly? <laughs> Huh? Come on now. Where's your power? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we'll use a scripture to come back to scripture. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, how many of you lay hands on the sick and they recover? Hallelujah. But we can show up. out. But we ain't laying on the hands on the sick and they recover. Uh -huh. Something wrong with the power. Uh -huh. right. We got to get that power. Uh -huh. We got to go get hooked up to the source again. Uh -huh. No, because listen, a battery will go dead on you. Sure. A good battery. Yeah. Let it get real cold. Sure. You'll have a dead cell. Mm -hmm. It's a dead cell in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. We got to get that power. Mm -hmm. We can do that. Yeah. I ain't scared of no devil. I used to be one, so I about know him when I see him. Ah, come on now. I already know what kind of demon you are. I used to live in me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I be thinking when I say, oh, I know who that is. Uh -huh. Not the man, but the spirit. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. You got to have that power. Ask yourself, am I speaking with a new tongue that comes with a revelation? Mm -hmm. All of us, the Holy Ghost has his own language. Yeah. And he gives to some of us divers languages mm -hmm. and the interpretation. Gives them the interpretation. Mm -hmm. He don't give it to everybody. You want to know why though? You can't handle it. He gonna give to. He said he get to every man severally as they're able, yeah. as he will, because he know we able to bear. Mm -hmm. And some of us get to look down through people's lives. Our mouth will be running like diarrhea. Come on. <laughs> Come on. We'll be telling everything. Yeah. And the wisdom of knowledge is different from the word of the Lord. Yes. The wisdom of knowledge reveals. But you got to have wisdom to know when to reveal knowledge. Amen. And a lot of people get up there and reveal stuff. And it ain't that time. And people try to manifest that in their flesh. And then they shipwreck. Amen. It works by faith. Yes. It works. Knowledge and wisdom go together. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians 10 and 6. Y'all, I am a Bible reader. I love this word. It saved my life. And I know that it'll save other people's lives. Ephesians 6. It will save other people's lives because it saved me. If you apply these scriptures to your, if you write them up on the tables of your heart, Bind them about your neck. Let them stay before your eyes. Because yeah. what you set before your eyes, you will become. Mm -hmm. Now you think um, them, them cows had them ring streak and, and speckled cows. What did Jacob set before their eyes? Mm -hmm. While they were down there getting that water, they were still looking at them stripes and specks. And then they brought forth cattle that way. Well, if you set this word before your eyes, you will become a living epistle mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I know we're living epistles. Everybody live tells a story if you look at them, if you just observe them. But is your life telling a life of power? When you say you got the Holy Ghost, is it a life of power? Mm -hmm. Or is it a church Holy Ghost? You know, the kind that comes sit on the pew. We had a good church service, but that's it. Ain't nobody got saved. I ain't delivered nobody. My family don't want drugs. They drinking, they cussing, they smoking. They fornicating, they committing adultery. Something wrong with my power. When the soul has lost its savior, it's good for nothing. You wonder why they cuss in front of you. Something wrong with our salt. Amen. And I say our salt. Why they come in here with their girlfriend and their girl? Something wrong with my salt. Good you know what I'm saying? If, they, if you get disrespected by the world, Hallelujah. something wrong with your salt. Now, you might not think so, but it is. Because that power will make the devil tremble. I done seen my husband get ready to pray for a lady. He didn't know. And as he began to walk up on her, that thing began to shake and tremble and back up. But it ain't had that but a wall, so it couldn't go nowhere. And that spirit got cast out. It's supposed to be a power in us, a power to deliver. 
Glory to God. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You can't do this without the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. We can't do anything. Even in our prayer, he said, we don't know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit mm -hmm. will make intercession for us. Mm -hmm. He tells us to build up our most holy faith, yes. praying in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost has his own language. Mm -hmm. You don't know what he's talking about. He's just going on. But you build up, you you praying in that language because you know he know what he's doing. Yeah. And so you let him. <laughs> you let him. You let go. You take the restraints off yes. and let the power work in you. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be strong in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Go to 2 Timothy 1 to 7. We all tired. <laughs> Come on and give Jesus a hand clap of praise. Because he's the only one that's worthy. He's the only one that can do these things. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. First Timothy, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Mm -hmm. No, it's, yeah, 2 Timothy. But God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. There it is again. Mm -hmm. So why are we afraid of COVID? Why are we afraid of these plagues? He said, no, no evil shall befall you. No any plague come out of your dwelling. Come on. I heard a preacher say one time, well, I don't care. Everybody's going to get sick. In my mind, I said, the devil is a liar. But that ain't what the scripture said. No, somebody lying. I might get sick. I done opened the door for Satan. I done ever, he done jumped in the crack. But I can kick him out. That's right. He said he gave us power. Mm -hmm. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. I'm not scared to walk down there in the Bible. Yeah, no. I'm not scared to go sit on the men's head couch uh -uh. and talk to them about Jesus. Hallelujah. What, what am I scared of? Right. You were scared when you was out there on the dance floor. Oh. <laughs> but times done change. No, the people are different. That's but it's right. the same devil. Uh -huh. He's doing the same thing, but with a different chemical. You might have did heroin or, or some kind of LSD or something back in the 60s and 70s, in that funkadelic era. And then they came up with that crack in the 80s. Uh -huh. And then they went to, you know, uh, them tranquilizers, them horse tranquilizers they were shooting mm -hmm. people up with. Yeah. You know, just different different chemical, yeah. but the same devil. Yeah. Same spirit. Yeah. Why are you scared of it? Because your power done went out. You got to get your power jump started yeah, on the altar. He gave it to you. Receive it. Believe it. Believe that you got this power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Same chapter, chapter 22. I mean, chapter 2 and verse 22. He said, flee also useful lust, but fall out the righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. That's what that power, people say, I can't stop sinning just they got saved. I beg the difference. Because that power will help you. The Holy Ghost will help you. He'll help you show on that evil. He'll help you not want to go back and hang out with them people. You can't keep coming around that type of fire, that strange fire. Yeah. You, know, you can't keep coming standing around the fire barrel with a bunch of drunks and, and passing the blunt and say I'm the devil. Pretty soon, your hand gonna reach out of here too. Sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> right on yeah. there you go. And then there you go. That's right. Back out there, and that, that, that latter state is worse than that former. Sure it's gonna take a whole lot of praying to get that demon out of you because he done called seven more and he done fortified his house. That's right. Mm -hmm. But Jesus gives us power. Amen. James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That's what that power do. He give you power to submit to him. He said, once the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you receive power to become sons of God. Sons obey their daddy. Sons, good sons, obey their father. Even when they grown. 
Mm -hmm. They don't disrespect. They take sound advice. Yes. But rebellious, sure, they ain't on here nobody. Come on. That's it. They in their own mind. Amen. Well, he gave us power. That power will help you resist Satan. That power, you can just write these scriptures down. I'm getting ready to, to close. Mm -hmm. oh, well, we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 10. This is all good to me. Amen. Say amen, y'all. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands. I know it ain't a shout and service, but if we apply this word right here and hook back up to the power, because it's something we're supposed to be doing with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Your Holy Ghost ain't supposed to just be laying on the couch, so to speak. Run into the refrigerator, you know, then go back, he lay in the bed a little bit, then he get up and go back to the refrigerator, then he go on the couch and sell and watch TV for a little while, then he sleep a little bit, and he get, no, no. That ain't what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> that ain't what he's supposed to be doing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah chapter 10 and 27. If I, if I got it wrong, it's because I was talking about 2 33 o'clock this morning. And writing all over this little book of mine. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Jesus. Because your word is it work better than a medicine. Amen. It'll make fat our bones and quicken us. It'll make us alive. Yes. Lord, even when we die, you'll it'll quicken. Quicken our mortal bodies. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah 10 and 27 says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulders, mm -hmm. and his yoke from off thy neck. Mm -hmm. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Mm -hmm. That's what that power is. Mm -hmm. See, he'll take that yoke that Satan and drag you. He'll yoke up your feet so you can't take it no more. He can't make you go walk the street all night. He can't make you go in and out of other folks' house and you ain't got no business there. He can't make you go buy cigarettes and all kind of stuff to kill your body. He can't make you go gamble and get on the machines at the store. So he had to put it on your neck so he can lead you around. Mm -hmm. And you wonder, you know, why you do the things that you do that you don't want to do. But it's another member warning your flesh. Mm -hmm. But he give us power over that. Amen. And he said, not only we take that yoke off, but he's going to destroy it. Yes. When something's destroyed, it can't form no more. Amen. Now you got to go find you another one. Right. Right. You know, like being entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Mm -hmm. You got to go find you a brand new yoke. Amen. After it's been destroyed. Amen. Because he tells us right here, this is the proof. It shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he, the Holy Ghost comes with the anointing. Yes. He is the king. Uh -huh. He is the kingdom. Yes. He is the powerhouse. Hallelujah. He's God powerhouse. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Brother Ben, you got to calm down. You're distracting me. <laughs> calm down with me. Okay. He give us power over sickness. Go to John 11 and 25. Lord, I give you power. I want y'all to realize that this, you can wake your power up. Mm -hmm. You can wake your power up. It's in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just strike a match. Mm -hmm. Strike a match and a blaze will come up. Mm -hmm. Just strike a match. That's all you got to do. Strike a match. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. 11 and 25. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. Mm -hmm. I am the life, and he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Yes. He gives us this kind of power. Yes. When our bodies are broke down, I start quoting the scriptures to my body. I, he, over in the book of Genesis, he said he gave Adam dominion over everything that creep and crawl upon the face of the earth. Yes. Everything. So I'm made up of cells, organisms, organs, all of them. I can tell all of them what to do. I can tell these cells going to get right. Yes. You're going to be made whole. And I can tell all the bad cells to get out my body. Because yes. he gave me that authority. Yes. Yeah. You better talk to your body. Amen. You better command ye this. Amen. 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 When that leg drag, you better tell it to catch up. Hallelujah. 
Your back hurt, you better tell it straighten up. Amen. And told me something about some disc. I said, oh, the devil is a lie. I want a new one. In the name of Jesus, put some new ones in there. And I ain't going to go back and get no x-ray. But they got, must have came in there. It ain't hurt. Thank you, Jesus. Put some cushion on them. Yeah. When them vertebrae's touching, put me whatever in there. You are the creator. Amen. I mean, a created miracle. Yeah. You can ask for it. And then you say it so much to you believe it. Yeah. He give you power over all the power of the yeah. devil. He give you power over all these elements yeah. in the air. You got power over these principalities, yeah. over spiritual wickedness. You got power over the rulers of darkness of this yeah. world. You are the light that shine in darkness. Yeah. Be that light. Yeah. Be that light for your family. Stand up. Yeah. Start. Go in your prayer chamber and make you a list. Just go down and listen. Tell God all about the demons that's wrecking them, that particular person. Tell them what you want them to do. Amen. Tell them you ain't going to stop knocking on his wonder until you do it. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm knocking elbow, fist, knee, whatever get tired, I find another member to knock. Yeah. Amen. He a good God. He give us power. Yeah. Glory to God. Romans chapter 11. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, Lord. Ho, oh, hiya, ho, oh, hiya. Thank you, Jesus. Romans chapter 11. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, I'm sorry, y'all. Chapter 8, verse 11. Thank you, Jesus. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall quicken your mortal body. You ain't got to be sick. Hallelujah. I'm not paying for no health insurance. I ain't gonna give you my money for free. Hallelujah. I just save my own money. I don't get no that. I call the retirement. I, hey, I don't want no retirement. Unenroll me. I can hold my own money. <laughs> Yo, y'all might crash. Somebody might steal all the retirement from me. Right. I ain't crazy now. I might, you know, but no. I believe this word. Thank you, Jesus. He said he'll quicken our mortal bodies. It'll give life to you. Listen, I wore my heart out. Out there doing drugs and rides and living. <coughs> doing everything that I probably could be doing in the devil's name I was doing. Yeah. Except that homosexual stuff. That, ain't, that was, you know, every, that, that, I knew that was abomination. Amen. You know, sometimes when you grow up in the church, it's certain things you just ain't going to do. <laughs> and there's certain stuff you now you might go, but you there's certain stuff you just ain't gonna do. But I wore my heart out. So in 2010, uh, Brother Tara came to the church, and my dad he had just you know got sick or whatever. I, we just had found out he was sick, and I got in the prayer line and I asked the Lord to heal my dad. But the man of God started praying about my heart. I never told nobody that I went to the doctor when I was 23. And Dr. Nelson told me, you know, he wanted me to get on these heart pills out there at Flowers Hospital. I threw the prescription out the window. Because I'm not taking no pills for no heart. It might not work no more if I take these pills. No, that just was my thinking. But my heart was speed up so bad it was just beating, 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 beating hard. And I can hear it in my ears. And I'll pass out. So that went on for some years. So I got in this prayer line. And the man of God began to pray for my heart. And I was thinking in my mind, I didn't ask for that. But something inside of me said, accept it. So I said, okay. And after he finished, I went to the wall. And I began to praise God. I began to praise him because I was trying my hardest to accept that. And I did. And so I would always say God gave me a brand new heart. Because it never beat like that again. I never passed out no more. Amen. Amen. Never. But the devil would fight me with that. He'll tell me that I wasn't healed. He'll tell me that that didn't happen. So in December of 20, November of 22, I went to the doctor. Hey, I'll never say her name good. And she did three, three EKGs. And they, she told me she had to send me to a heart specialist. I told her, ain't nothing wrong with my heart. I had a brand new heart. She said, well, these keep saying you need to go see a specialist. I said, all right. I 
told my husband about it. I said, I ain't going. I got a brand new heart. He said, well, Jessica, just go ahead and see what they say. I gotta stop listening. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to certain stuff, I just need a whole fan. <laughs> so I went to the doctor and, and he told me, he came in there and they did a, um, a echo so they could look at it. Mm -hmm. And so he came back in there, they did the EKG too. And he said, um, I'm just gonna tell you the truth. He said, now we make our money running a test on y'all. He said, but I ain't gonna do that to you. And in my mind, I said, I ain't gonna let you. <laughs> he said, ain't nothing wrong with your heart. He said, your heart like a 17 year old. Jesus. He said, if you wanna just come give me your money in five years and come back and see me, then you can come back. Glory but you ain't God. never gotta come back here. Jesus. I said, look at God. Amen. I'm telling you, that's why I feel Amen. like I feel, because I know Lord what I know. Yeah. I know he is a healer. Yeah. I know he'll get down in your body and he'll yeah. restore every yeah. member. Yeah. He don't care what you done done. Amen. He don't care how bad you done been out there in them streets. He will deliver you. Amen. He will make a new creature out of you. Yeah. When you decide to die with him and be resurrected in the newness of his life, he'll come from the top of your head to the solid of a oh, oh, yeah. to the soles of your feet. Yeah. And he'll make you a new creature. Yeah. He'll restore your organs. Yeah. He'll restore your body. Yeah. He'll restore your soul. That's why I feel like I feel about sickness because you can't tell me he ain't a healer. I ain't going to listen. I'm fully persuaded because I done seen it for myself. That word been tried and proven in my life. I should lay hands on the sick and they share recovery. I lay hands on myself. I said, Jesus, you said I can lay hands on the sick and they share recover. Recover, sick. Recover. I talk that word to me because I know it. He done done it for me. Yes. One day I was coming out of church. One day I had to go meet a little baby. I was keeping go meet her mom. And when I walked out, I knew that something was going to happen to me. And I thought for a minute, well, maybe I need to go back in there and get my husband. I said, no, I'm going to go ahead and take her. But when I took her and I came back, it was a demon on that parking lot waiting on me. And when... I got out that car, that thing attacked me, and I could barely make it to the door. And I sat there and I, I couldn't hardly breathe. I was so dizzy. And so he left the service and he took me home with a lamb. And so I laid in that bed three days. For three days, them children came in and they quoted the scripture to me. By his stripes, you were made whole. Everybody in my household came in that room and they kept quoting the scripture. But every time I would try to raise my head up, all my air would cut off. I would lay back down. And so I said, Lord, I'm not going to die like this. Now I'll die fighting, but I'm not going to die like this. So every day I would raise my head up a little bit more throughout the day. I was crying my faith. I was quoting the scripture. I raised my body up. On that third day, I sat up in the bed and jumped on. Because Jesus is a healer. Amen. Jesus is a healer. Amen. All you got to do is believe that word. Yes. You got to keep working your faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody tell me he ain't no healer. And can't nobody tell me he won't do it. Amen. We seen after Dee, them went and prayed for my aunt. We prayed for her. Man, we seen God take her from when she was swollen and black. And she shrunk all the way down to her complexion. Was green. Jesus. I know God was giving her time Amen. to get her right. God is a good God. Yes, we might is. not know how he going to do it, but he will do it. Amen. I'm talking about he, he brought her body when she was, she was looking gross because I was looking at on the, the FaceTime. But God, God gave her a miracle in her body. Amen. God is a good God. Yes. If thou can believe, mm -hmm. if you believe that this power is in you, you believe that you can lay hands on the sick. Yes. You believe that you ain't got to fear no devil. Mm -hmm. Start casting them devils out. I, I had stopped when I see my children. I had stopped laying hands on them. But when I see them now, I'm pouring it all on yes. <laughs> Come on. Amen. Come get some of this. Yeah. I know God's going to hear my prayer because yeah. he promised me that. Yeah. And he told me it was a power in me. And I believe it's in me. I'm a devil chaser. Amen. Ain't no devil got no business being in nobody Amen. when we in their presence. Amen. They might not want to lose their devil, 
But what's in you going to make that devil loose them. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. You got to believe it. Yes. You can't be scared of the devil. He ain't about that high if you want to know the truth. If you ever seen him, you ever seen him? Anybody here ever seen him? They're like little minions. Little black minions. If y'all ever seen that movie Go, and how them little things came up with Whippy Goldberg and Patrick Swayze, and them little black minions died at that fucking high. They just blow up and make themselves look big and, and grow arms and look all hideous and heads and stuff. But they did high. <laughs> You can keep him. <laughs> I wish y'all could see how loose they are. Because you got power over them. And they be rooting. They be running us. Because they be high. No. That's right. That's not right. That's not right. I'm going to give y'all the rest of these scriptures. I'm going to read one more. Deuteronomy 7 and 11. God is good, y'all. I love you so much. Oh, I love you. Oh, no, I'm not going down there. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 11. And you got to stop all that talking. You got to be talking and talking and talking. Deuteronomy 7 and 11. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number. Than any. Oh, that's that's Deuteronomy, all right? I'm, okay, well, I'm, the Lord must want us to hear seven and seven because I'm I'm gonna read that too. I love this. <laughs> the Lord did not set His love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. I keep that in my heart, that scripture right there. That keeps me humble. That let me know I ain't nobody. It's because he chose to set his love on me. Yes. He could let me die out there. I'm telling you, I'm feeling the flames of hell. That night I came to church, and Sister Nana, my mama, was preaching. And my mama, she, she tricked me. <laughs> Thank God she tricked me. But she said, could you come drop me off at the church? I said, yeah. I rolled me a blunt. I'm going to go to Frank's place. I'm going to drop her off. And by the time I drank me a couple of beers and smoked my blunt, she's going to be ready. I'm going to come back to church and I'm going to pick up. That didn't happen. We pulled up on that parking lot. And she, she said, you going to get out? I said, no. And she said, this might be your last time. And she walked across the front of the church. I know she ain't talking to me. No, this ain't this my last time. I'm going to go to this church. Because <laughs> uh, people don't say stuff like that just to be saying it. No, this ain't going to be my last night. I'm going to go with you. And when I came in here, I sat between her and Sister Evelyn over at the other church. And Sister Nana Mama, she was with the preacher. And my body got stuck. It just froze. Would not move. All I could move was my eyes. That's what I'm talking about, that power. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about, that power. Yes. And so my mama was looking at me, and she knew something was wrong. All I could do was move my eyes. And so they helped me come to the altar. But they was pulling me forward, but my body wanted to go back. <laughs> and they finally got me up here. I'm going to tell you about that power. That power says you're going to be all right, because I seen you in my dream last night. My Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I'm all right. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I'm talking about the power to deliver. I'm talking about when you seek the Lord, and he's going to tell you who's going to be in the service, and they show up, yeah. and you got the power to Deliver. Yes. Glory to God. Holy, 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 holy. Glory Thank you, Jesus. Thank that's what, that's the kind of power I'm talking about. Yes. That we gotta have. Yes. From the back door to the door. Yes. We gotta have the, the greatest got to have. Mm -hmm. Cause you got you gonna you the first line of defense. Amen. You gonna see the demon coming in the door. Right. So you got to have some power. Hallelujah. You know, we got to have power. I'm gonna just leave it at that. I love you all. Amen. And the other scriptures I had was John 16, 8 and 11. It's power over sin. Power to overcome evil is Romans 12 and 21. Power to overcome temptation, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. James chapter 1, 
chapter 1, verse 12 through 15. Anytime you're tempted, God has made a way of escape. Mm -hmm. He's not going to let you be tempted above anything that you're able to bear. Mm -hmm. He makes it possible for you to bear. You know, I know people say God don't put on you no more than you can bear, but that ain't how the scripture reads. Read the scripture. He makes it possible so you can take it. He's putting you through whatever it is for your making. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you on this evening. Yes, Jesus. We thank you for this blessed Sabbath service. Yes, Lord, I thank you for teaching me a lot and helping me to learn. I thank you for my brothers and sisters yes, that took Jesus. time out to come in your house. Lord, and I pray that this word will help them along the way. And I pray that you endure us with power from on high. In Jesus' name. If anyone got any kind of sickness, you got any kind of secret request, Brother Barbara, um, we got some handkerchiefs. And as I was praying, seeking the Lord, the Lord told me to lay my hands over them because he was giving me the spirit of faith. So I have some handkerchiefs if you believe that that anointing of the spirit of faith is upon them. We'll be glad to give you one. It's not Brother Terrell's handkerchief. It's not Brother Terrell's power. Hallelujah. The power belongs to Jesus yeah. Christ. The power Woo. belongs to Jesus. Yeah. And he give God give to whoever he will. Hallelujah. But Brother Barbara going to pray with y'all. He had been seeking the Lord. And I thank God I'm going to give this testimony. He and I both. And the devil attacked his body. He still got out there and worked every day in that hot sun. Probably wasn't drinking enough water. But God. But God. But he kept standing with me. He kept standing for this service. He, I thank God for Jesus. Amen. I thank God for the stand that we can, we like all of what I say in the flesh, but in the spirit we are powerhouse. I thank God for Jesus. Amen. So if you have any sickness, anything you would like God to do for you, you can come forward and he's going to pray the prayer of faith in Jesus' name. For whoever else comes. Y'all come on. Y'all come on. Y'all
in the name of Jesus. God, you're a good God. And Lord, we know you to be a healer. Lord, go down to my sister heart. Lord, and fix whatever wrong. And open up any valve that is closed. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Lord, I plead the blood over her life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we touch it in the green. Right now in Jesus' name. Lord, by your spirit and by your power. And Lord, we thank you. And we give you the praise. And Lord, she will thank you for how you given her time on this earth. She appreciates you for it. And Lord, we all do too. For the time that you have given us. Lord, to continue this race that you have given us. And Lord, we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name. Services in the mighty name oh. of Jesus, Lord, in your precious name, Jesus. Lord. Matter of fact, go from her head all the way down to her toe in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, strengthen her mortal body in the name of Jesus, and Lord. Let her continue to run this race, Jesus, in your precious name. Thank you, Jesus. Come forth 
And you're going to be a fireball. In the name of Jesus. A lot of people think you ain't going to be nothing, but the devil is alive. Hallelujah. The Lord going to pour some fire all over you, sister. You're going to be laying hands on the sick and they're going to recover. He's going to take you to some higher places in the Lord. But be patient and listen. God going to give you ears to hear. In the name of Jesus. And you're going to know it's the Lord. Because he never lied. The devil will lie, but the Lord will never lie. He's going to talk to you. Tell you what to do. You listen to Jesus. He's going to lead you and guide you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God finna get you and your sister financial blessing. He's finna open up the windows of heaven upon y'all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we curse this cone in Jesus' name. Lord, we send it back to the pits of hell where it come from. Devil, you can't lie on her body. You will fly. And we send you back to hell in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I plead the blood of a pastor. I plead the blood of Jesus. Lord, you've been keeping her, and you're going to continue to keep her. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you. Jesus. 
Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, we know you and I will meet. Yeah. And God, I'm asking you to heal my soul. God, in Jesus' name. God, in Jesus' name. Lord, I plead your blood all over her life. Lord, heal this situation down in her back. Lord, whatever it is that's making it hurt, God, I curse it. I curse it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, let this pain leave her. Let it leave her, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, if she lay down tonight, Lord, and wake up the next day, Lord, and be gone. In Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord wants you to see it. Oh, great word. I want you to see Read that Bible more. I want you to get in that word. Get in this word and read that Bible and become the Bible. Become his word. You got a good heart. Heart pure. But God wants you to read his Bible. Hallelujah. Read his Bible. Read that word. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. In Jesus' name. He's gonna set you up high. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God good, ain't he? Amen. Give God the praise. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, I know you're a healer too. Yes, Lord. Lord, heal this. Yes, Jesus. Lord, you already healed it. Yes, Lord. But Lord, this little thing that keep coming back. Yes. God, we curse it yes. in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Lord, make him whole. Yes, Lord. Lord, like that one left of them ten that you healed. The one of them came back. And Lord, he gave you thanks. Yes. And Lord, the rest of them didn't give you no thanks. Yes. But that one came back and gave you the thanks. Yes. And Lord, you made him whole. Yes. Lord, make this whole yes. in Jesus' name in Jesus. right now. And Lord, we thank you for what you're doing for D2 yes. in this ministry. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. Lord, you set my brother on fire. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. God, put that boldness in him. God, put that boldness in him, Lord, that he can stand up until he faces, Lord. Lord, and put that boldness in him, Lord, that it's wild. Stand right there with him. Yes, Jesus. God, in this time that we're living in. Yes, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, they're going to need you. Yes, Lord. Lord, for this time. Yes, Lord. And Lord, I thank you for what you're doing for them. Lord, just set them on fire. Yes, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Stir them up, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, let them put you before anything. Yes, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. I know the devil warned in them, but we put the devil behind them. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. And Lord, we thank you. Yes. And Lord, we give you the glory and honor. Yes. In Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. 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 God good. Amen. God a good God. Yes. I promise you. 
Thank you. I got you some stuff. Jesus, put her faith in you. She believed that you can make her totally walk again. Yes, Jesus. God, we know that you can. Yes, Jesus. Lord, ain't nothing too hard for you. All you want us to just believe. And Lord, my sister, mother, and the Lord, Lord, she believed. She believed, Lord. Lord, if, if, if any unbelief there, Lord, we ask you to move it. But I don't believe it's unbelief there. It's, it's belief in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, one thing about it, she's going to press her way to your house. God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, heal. Heal. Heal, Jesus. Heal. Heal. In Jesus, name. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Master. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see God healing something else, too. Jesus. Blood. Blood. Thank you, Jesus. God. Jesus name. Jesus name. I'm going to make her blood clean. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, In Jesus name. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hey, hallelujah. And I see an angel in your house too. Be there with you, Mother Betty. Oh, glory. It's an angel be there with you. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh my God in Jesus' name. Oh my God. God got the angels there with you. Things you can't do, they it just appear to happen. In, 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 in your mind, you think it just appear to happen, but it's an angel. There. Oh glory. There'll be some angels there. Sometimes you might see them walking. Oh glory. Mm. God is a good God. You know, when I, my wife, she was um going away for a moment. And I used to be in the house. I used to be walking in my house. But the Lord told me there were angels. God got angels with you. You know, when people don't come by, God, they there. Woo! Boy, they good. Woo! Oh, my God. I feel, I feel fine. Lord, let the same fire go down in my body. Woo! Lord, don't shut up my mouth. Keep it loud. Keep it loud. Oh, glory. Mm. Woo! Oh my God. Woo! Mm, I feel fine. Mm. Don't speak. 
don't care how much you like. Hey! 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 you already here. Hey! 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 You got a pastor, a great woman of God, standing in the gap for you, man. You, 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 a miracle. When I walk, when I see you running in here with that bottle of water, I said, "My God, my Lord, look at this man." Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I know this is your vessel right here. Lord, you won't let nothing stop him. And Lord, that's what you want. You want some, some soldiers. Lord, won't let nothing stop him. Lord, he's always doing something for the pastor. God, remember his good works. In the name of Jesus. God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I plead your blood all over his life. Lord, anything that tried to come up on him, Lord, I curse him in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, this is my brother. All these are my brothers in him. And Lord, I love him. God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you shield and protect me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I see the Lord finna bless you all finances. I've been struggling a little bit. You and your wife. But God finna help y'all. Don't do it right. The Lord finna help y'all. There finna be some money come from somewhere. There finna be some money come from somewhere. I heard the Lord talking to me. Y'all finna get some money soon. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Y'all been, been faithful. When you be faithful, God can bless you. Oh, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Basta lo bo hosta. Si se lo bo costo lo bo hoya. Ni ke ye la ba hasta la ba humba. Ki ke lo bo ko hosto bo hoye la ba haye. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to be all right. For them to come out. Lord, you keep my brother. Lord, you shield and protect him. Lord, he always want to do right. Do what's right for you, Jesus, in everything. And God, we do know this. Lord, he love you. God, if you know, you know if he didn't love you, you wouldn't have told me what you just told me. God, like you told Peter, you said, the devil tried to sip you as we pray for him. Lord, so I'm praying for my brother. Asking you, Lord, to put a protection on him. Lord, curse everything to try to throw forces at him. Lord, you gave him a shield of faith. Lord, let that shield of faith that you gave him that he can block all the fire dogs of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, give him a heaven of salvation. Give him the sword of the spirit. Give him the blessed Pray the righteousness. Yes. Let his Lord be girded by the yes. truth. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, give me shoes, Lord. Yes. God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, ha, oh, ha, casta, la bohoya. Nikea, la bohoste, la bohoya. She shed, la bohoka, la haye. In Jesus' name. Lord, you keep him when he out there in the fields working. Lord, cutting grass and doing other things, Lord. God, to make ends meet. Lord, you keep my brother. In Jesus' name. Put the devil behind. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else? Anyone else? Jesus. Jesus. Lord, you heal. God, heal. Let your healing yes, power. Jesus. 
God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, glory. In Jesus' name. Lord, I plead your blood, Lord. The blood of Jesus against you, Satan. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, I feel healing going on in you. I feel healing going on in you, sister. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Mm. My God in Jesus' name. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray. I'm gonna pray for you and your prayer life. You got a good prayer life. Work service. God I'm gonna help you many ways. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you fire, keep her stirred up, Jesus. Lord, she she need more. Lord, she always seeking for more. She ain't satisfied. Mm. She ain't satisfied. God, fill her up. Lord, let a meal barrel run over. In the name of Jesus. God, let a meal barrel run over. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, let her be able to go out there and lay hands on the sick, Lord, and they recover. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let her come head on face with the devil. And Lord, she calling your name. And God, you make that devil flee. In Jesus' name. Lord, make sickness flee. God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let her walk down through and out her house. Leaving the blood of Jesus all over her house. God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray right now. In Jesus' name. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. All right. God, in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Some too. You need a little fire too. You need some fire. So do. You need some fire. Hallelujah. Glory, Lord. You set Sister Vaughn on fire, Lord. God set on fire. Set Sister Vaughn on fire, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, she be riding all them people at that little chicken place. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, they be saying all kind of bad stuff. But God, she needs some power. She needs some power. She needs some power. She needs some power in Jesus' name, Lord. You give power. Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Give some power, Jesus. Give some power, Lord. Give some power. Uh-uh, give some power. She needs some power. She needs some power. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. She needs some power. Power to talk, right? Power to walk, right? Power to live, right? Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Lord, you move for my dear sister. Yeah. God, move for Lord. Yeah, oh, hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Do oh, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Do it. Oh, do it, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Lord, you know what she has need of. God, you do it, Father. Do it, Jesus. Lord, you know what she pray for. You know what she asked you, Lord. God, do it for my dear sister. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Man, the Lord showing me all y'all finna be so five balls. Y'all ain't just gonna be sitting down and see me do nothing. Oh, glory. Pastor the Lord just showed me that. All these girls, all these young women's in here, they finna be on fire. Oh, glory. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the Lord just showed me they're gonna be on fire. Oh, hallelujah. They're gonna be some devil chasers. Oh, glory. In the name of Jesus. And don't try to sit them down either. Don't try to, don't try to handle them. Don't try to hit them. Oh, hallelujah. He ain't doing that. Don't hit them. Don't hit them. No, uh-uh. Don't hit them. Let them go. Go.
I plead the blood over your mind in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That devil lied. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. My God. That's that devil lie. He's a liar. He's a liar. Jesus. Lord, me and my kids right now, Lord, we stand in the gap for my mama. Lord, I see your word. You know all things. Yes. Lord, I'm asking you right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh. Lord, give my sisters some strength. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. God, in Jesus' name. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Lord, sometimes she often think about her sisters. Yes. Oh, glory. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. She's sitting in the face with Jesus. Oh, oh glory. Yes. You're all right. Oh, she all right. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She's all right. 
mighty God. Oh, glory. Lord, move for a husband. Lord, you touch him. Touch him, Jesus. Lord, when you touch, it's a touch like no other. Lord, he need a touch from you. In the name of Jesus. God, touch her son. Touch her daughter and granddaughter and great grand. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your blessings be all over their lives. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Oh, hallelujah. God, Sister Faith. Hallelujah. God, for the do something. Be a devil chaser too, sister. Oh, Faith. <laughs> oh glory! Jesus. Hallelujah! Yes. Man, the Lord show me. Oh. oh glory! You finna, man, you finna cast out some devil, sister. Faith. Jesus. You get up there, you preach a little bit. Yes. It ain't something that you really desire to do in your heart, Jesus. but the devil is a lie. You God raised you up for this. Yes. He raised you up for this. Jesus. You got family members that's out there that ain't doing right, that ain't living right, yes, and they Lord. need the devil out of them. God gonna put this devil chase of spirit in you in the name of Jesus that you'll be able to cast the devils out just by speaking the word. Oh hallelujah! Oh hallelujah! Oh boy, you ain't even got to lay hands, you just speak it in Jesus' name. My God, my God, you ain't even got to lay hands, just speak it. Hallelujah! Oh glory! My God, God is good. Mm, all you got to do is believe, Sister Faith. Just believe. Glory. Man, God good at Amen. Good God. Ain't leave no one out. Okay, I see that little young lady. Can I pray for you? I want to just pray for you. I don't want to leave nobody out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
Sometimes it might sadden, Pastor, when she look off to the crowd out there. But Lord, don't let her be worried. Yes. And well doing. Yes, Lord. Glory. Yes. Lord, don't let her be worried and well doing. Yes. Lord, because she be well doing, Lord. She yes. always well doing. Yes. Oh, glory, Jesus. Glory. Lord, keep us on fire. Keep all of us on fire, yes. Jesus. Everyone in this church. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name. And Lord, you keep my wife, Lord. Yes, Lord. Keep her. Yeah. People are watching at the schoolhouse. Yes. Lord, let it be a light to them. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. In Jesus. In Jesus. Jesus. Amen. I tell you what. Ain't God good? Amen. He's a good God. Yes, he is. He's a good God. Yes, he is. You better read that Bible. Hey, keep reading. I, I want you to look back. Lord wants you to read. Keep reading. He's going to put something in there. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. He's going to put something in. God ain't no man that he will like. Amen. Amen. He's the son of man that he will repent. He spoke it. He going to make it good, ain't he? Amen. God good, ain't he? Yes. I thank God for this service. I thank God for Pastor. Amen. The Bible must die and come from a Sabbath service. Amen. God good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, clap your hands. Thank God. 